is MSR's Elixir 2 backpacking tent. As much or little as you want, and then you can roll it up and neatly stash it away. So now we're going to talk about closed cell phone mattresses. We're here today to give you a tour of the Marmot Halo 4P tent. One of Marmot's newer family and group camping tents. It's also available in the 6P. Today we're going to be looking at the 4P, which weighs in at 12 pounds and 12 ounces. Here's a look at what's included with the Marmot Halo 4P tent. We have your body, which is a standard dome style construction. Uh, here we have four sets of aluminum poles. Uh, the orange ones are for the traditional dome style setup. And then we have two gray poles that are called the brow poles uh, to help out with the ridge of the tent and I'll, I'll also offer a little bit more livability and support. Uh, and then uh, in we have 11 pegs, which is interesting. We figured that must just be um, a bonus peg in case you lose one. Uh, we have a splint for the poles, uh, some reflective guy line ready to use, and four guy line sliders. Uh, we also have your tarp, of course, or sorry, fly. And uh, then for your tent bag, there are some instructions included right on the tongue there. And it's just a standard uh, stuff it through the narrow end kind of tent bag. Uh, with the option to afterwards compress it down with a couple of handy straps. I'll give you a little bit of a tour of the outside before we head on in. Uh, as you can see, there's a sturdy full four pole design. I'll tilt that for a view in just a moment. And um, there, the uh, corner poles for the dome style actually feed through uh, some nice durable sleeve material here. Um, it's kind of nice to see, I grew up with this style of um, sleeves there for the poles and I hadn't seen it around too often, so it's kind of good to see it make, um, making a comeback because it just makes it a lot simpler if you're trying to set the tent up by yourself to do so because you don't have to worry about poles flopping back and forth after you pit in the corners and then just try and secure the clips. Uh, so this tent is symmetrical. Uh, the main difference being that uh, this is actually the rear of the tent. We started off in the backyard today. And um, you can actually zip both the inner door and have a screen window or you can seal it right tight up. On the front side, uh, the actual top half remains a window all the time. I'm going to tilt the tent now just so you can kind of have a look at where the Halo tent gets its name. Okay. And so that ring wraps all the way along the outside, really, really maximizing how much space you get inside there. And uh, then it, uh, on each side, if you can see this, the poles crisscross over there uh, just so that whoever's on the side gets a good amount of space as well uh, to hang out by the window here. And uh, then there is a window, um, not a door mind you, just a window that you can open up on each side uh, to have the uh, mesh exposed on all four corners, both up along the roof on all four points as well as the sides. Really allow that breeze to flow on through on a hot day. So we've now flipped the tent around uh, to what we're calling the front door. So it's hard to say for sure which is the front and which is the back. Uh, this uh, door, as we noted before, um, doesn't have the option to completely seal tight or um, open up exposing the mesh window. It's permanently half mesh window and half synthetic material. Uh, this is configuration number one. Uh, you can also zip that back over there. So just to uh, make things real easy. Uh, there are four different zippers here uh, so you can open as little or as much as you want uh, and it's also super convenient if somebody on the left side wants to get out versus the right. It prevents you from having to kind of crawl over everybody awkwardly in the middle of the night. Uh, so this is configuration number two and of course your last configuration you just open it right up and then you can uh, tuck it up neatly out of the way. Uh, there is, I'm not quite sure if you can see it there, but we have a handy dandy little pocket. So when the door is open, I like to tuck that there. But at nighttime, you can keep uh, the essentials like say, a roll of toilet paper, bear spray, anything you might need to keep super handy uh, by the front door. All right, so we're ready for you to come on in. Hey everyone, thanks for visiting my Halo Shelter. Uh, so as you can see, I'm standing right at the center point there. I'm six feet tall. There's definitely not enough room for me to uh, stand up. I'm definitely hunched over. Uh, so we're gonna give you a tour as quick as possible because it's a little awkward to stand in this position for too long. Uh, so as you can see, um, there are 
several panels here and they're all uh, mesh so it is fairly nice and breezy even though at this particular point all of the uh, doors scre uh, screen doors are uh, sealed up uh, so a couple things to note while we're up here uh, keep in mind that this tent is completely symmetrical so you won't be able to see everything I'm pointing out but just uh, remember that uh, you know if I show you this pocket it's absolutely available on the other side as well uh, so there are actually four of these corner pockets I like to call them light diffuser pockets because you can stick a flashlight or preferably a headlamp in there and have a nice soft uh, diffuse uh, light for when you don't need that full flashlight light strength for uh, just getting changed or uh, anything else you might be doing hanging out in the tent uh, then continuing along, uh, there, oh, let me get out of the way here, uh, there are one of these on each side, it's just a little accessory pocket, um, it doesn't look like it would hold much weight there, so just, uh, let's just be careful, whatever you plan to put up there, and then there is a window on each side, which you can kind of open up just like that, as much or little as you want, and then you can roll it up, and neatly stash it away, Okay, so these uh, side windows here uh, do not have access to the outdoor. It's only the front and the back. Uh, then you'll actually notice that uh, right at the bottom of the window, this is where the uh, extremely high bathtub style floor comes up to on the side. It's a little lower um, at the front and back just to make it easier to get inside of the tent. But you definitely have full, full storm protection here. Seams are all sealed throughout. I uh, definitely feel uh, like no water is going to get at me if I'm sleeping on the side here. Uh, then moving closer to the front here, uh, you can see that there is a pocket here with a divider. It's uh, definitely large enough for um, any average accessories uh, you might bring along with you. And there are four of these, so there is one for each person in the tent. So another one on the corner, and then uh, two on the other side there that match exactly. Uh, so then, just heading to the back of the tent, there appears to be a fairly overwhelming amount of zippers here. Uh, but do keep in mind that um, two of these zippers are actually for the window. So right now I've just opened it up so that uh, we have uh, the mesh exposed. Uh, so you can have half open. You can open this all the way up if you want. And then you can, of course, uh, do the same thing with the same configurations with the back door as I showed you before. Um, at the uh, front of the tent, when I was welcoming you inside, uh, you might have noticed that I kind of tucked this neatly out of the way. Uh, that was uh, this little pocket here, which is available in the front or the back. For now, as you can see, I'm just kind of neatly and easily stuffing this out of the way. Uh, but by all means, if you um, seal things up at night, that is a little bit of extra storage space if needed. Uh, one other thing I forgot to uh, point out up on top here is sun might be a little in the way, so I'll head over here. Uh, there are one, two, three, four of these little straps, so you can rig up some type of gear loft or clothesline or uh, any extras that you might need. If you've ever worried that you might lose track of where you set up your tent, fear not, for Marmot has provided a really bright, orange, unique fly. Uh, this thing would definitely help you pick out your tent in the crowd. It would also be handy for uh, safety purposes. And I like to think that uh, with the lighter coloring here, it would do a good job of uh, deflecting some of that sunlight versus the darker colors, which tend to absorb it. Uh, moving on to uh, the side here, there are four vent areas. If you remember earlier, uh, when we showed you um, the tent without the fly, uh, there's the ring that goes all the way around and there's mesh all the way around there too. Uh, so these four um, uh, vents are strategically placed to allow the air to flow. Uh, so you can actually set it up um, just with this little doohickey right here that attaches on the bottom and then you can adjust it however you like with the Velcro across the top. Now if the uh, uh, inclement weather were to kind of flow over your way. Um, it's actually kind of neat because you can leave two open on the side where um, opposite the wind and then on the windy side you can just remove that and there's a nice strip of velcro uh, that you can seal up nice and tight. Also to note there are um, a good number of reflective uh, guy line uh, fasteners here just to make sure that you can have the tent nice and steady in that bad weather. And on the side here You'll remember there was a nice big window on each side. Uh, this is actually cut a little bit short and you don't need to worry about the rain uh, getting under there or anything because they have that extra high bathtub floor. And then you can uh, just guy line this out and peg it 
to allow that it breeze to really flow in nicely and increase the overall ventilation in the tent. Uh, moving over to the front door here. Okay, it's a nice big wide opening, pretty roomy vestibule. Uh, so uh, this is one case on this tent where one side is actually different from the other. Uh, so once we're done here, we'll actually um, flip over to the back side and show you the garage slash porch uh, style opening there too. Um, if you can see it here, uh, we actually have a two-way zip, which is always nice. I pretty much always leave these open. Um, I've done it my whole life, just to allow a little bit of a breeze to get through there and the moisture and condensation to escape. So let's just open that up all the way. And then of course, you can uh, neatly roll it out of the way. I'll just do a real quick job here to show you how it works. And you'll notice that there is so much space here that I can easily disappear on the inside. Without a doubt, I would make this side my choice for the front side of the fly. Uh, just because uh, this uh, style of door is, I kind of feel like um, I would want that on any four person or larger tent. Uh, that's gonna be uh, like a base camper or a uh, family camp, car camp type tent. Um, because of course, all these extra zippers and things add a little bit extra weight. And if you do choose to bring um, poles, which I'll show you how they could be implemented here, that of course adds more weight and bulk. Let's see how this door works. So on each side, uh, there is a zipper, and of course, uh, there's a nice uh, draft and rain guard here, secured by Velcro. Uh, so you first open up this end. Uh, if you were in a rush, you could uh, totally go inside here, uh, just quick in and out. Uh, but it also opens up on this side. And uh, now we'll get into uh, why I really love this style of door. Uh, so from this point, there's a few different configurations that you can do. You can just kind of throw it up there once again if you're just uh, temporary in and out. Um, you can actually take a little bit of rope and secure it to each of these loops. And you can tie it in a few different configurations to allow the breeze to really flow in in uh, stormy weather or on a windy day. Uh, you can bring a couple of uh, poles with you, uh, tarp poles or your sticks, hiking poles, whatever you want. And uh, you can adjust the uh, height of this and suddenly you have a uh, covered canopy. Uh, you can stick some chairs under there, uh, just have a, an open uh, shelter now, uh, whatever the heck you might want to do, it's totally up to you. And uh, then you can also just neatly roll it up. and then you just uh, clip it out of the way with your average uh, loop in the bobber there. Uh, so you can probably easily see why this is my uh, favorite uh, type of door. Uh, so for this configuration, I definitely suggest uh, trying that out. And then the back can just be for easy in and outs and extra gear storage. Uh, this tent, of course, is uh, quite large. It's uh, not super heavy, um, but I definitely want to, want to carry it on my back at just shy of the 13 pounds. So we would recommend it as an awesome scout camp option. Great for music festivals, as we said. Uh, the orange here would make it uh, really stand out and easy to find in a crowd. Uh, car camping or, you know, I guess you could bring it along as a companion on a river canoe trip or something without too many portages if you have the space. We hope you enjoyed the video. You learned lots about the tent. And uh, we, if you enjoy our content, uh, we hope that uh, you subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you at the campground.